So then we move forward to pi number pi, 5, flips per perennial economic revenue. Just, at any rate, um, 2,390,000, or 2,390,625,000. I'll change that someday. It's just a matter of finding a different word. The per I like. The per I like. It just it throws me off. Economic and revenue, to me, is an oxymoron. Anyway, <laughs> that's why it keeps throwing me off. Section A, if you were to read the Acts of Providence, you would see in this part, Section A is 10% goes to the POP, which comes into 239,062,500. Treasury takes 9,562,500, which is, of course, 4%. 4%. And then those who are factoring in 10% here, which comes to $239,062,500 each, 10%. Participating local parks departments, participating local judicial, participating local DOTs, participating local public works, participating state judicial. And then at 20%, 478125000 per year, participating local school districts, participating local general funds. Now I want to really remind you, the, the way the math works, if I'm doing it by the state, I just divide it by 50. And I consider that there's probably a thousand communities in every state average. Lord knows, there's probably way more than that. India had 700,000 communities. So, it's <laughs> think of it as a community county level, is how I think of it. Um, so I use that as a base of 50,000 to find the local numbers. I just divide it by 50,000. Now let me explain some things here now. Well, participate in local departments, the parks departments, 50,000 is only 4,781.25 if I divide it by that. I don't know how many parks departments you have in your state. I'm sure Delaware has a lot less than Washington State. The judicial. Judicial, I'm doing my best to trickle money up to you. Wait till you see the next pies. You're going to really trip and you're going to find out what we're up to. Department of Transportation, you can use all the money you can get. If that buys you a couple of spare tires or a new tranny for an old truck, more power to you. Public Works, it's the same thing. You know, you guys know what you need. You gals know what you need there. Participating state judicials. Look at that number, though. That number jumps up. 4,781,250 per state. Per state. Now, this proves to be an interesting number because of what we're up to. You see, just like Nixon declared the war on cancer, and the Reagans declared the war on drugs, we're refocusing the war on drugs. We're going to refocus the war on cancer, and we're going to recognize some of our other enemies of our people. Those enemies of the people are political pigs who sap the system. Those enemies of the people are pedophiles. We need to isolate them, round them up, and because they are declared as enemies, the political pigs as financial terrorists committing economic treason, they need to be processed accordingly. And the real way we're going to actually do this is through Homeland Security. But in the meantime, you're doing a lot of the processing yourself as we're letting people out of prison, through the potheads in particular, to make room for the other people. We're going to be doing a lot of processing, a lot of door spinning, especially at first. And that's why at first we had the pop in on pop, pop, pop pie number one, where we had the first two years and then years three through five to break it all down. So let's go ahead and move on for now. Um, participating in local school districts. This means the school right there where the computer says this is the school closest to the basic urban distribution spot, or the, in this case, the, the closest to the flips, would score this 4,562.50. The school districts, who have a way of making money disappear as well, as far as I'm concerned, um, won't see this. That's actually, does that come to 9? Yeah, 9,562.50, I forgot my comma. So anyway, the school would get that money. What could your local elementary or middle or high school do with that money and if there's two or three of them right next door to each other all the money would go to them like that it would be split out it depends on how we eventually put it up but this is going to be a board member call in the long run I'm going to make my suggestions to them which is to split it out within a particular area nevertheless it might end up at one school 
So it just depends on which schools are there, right? Participating local general fund. Now, $9,600, $9,600 might not seem like a lot to any city, especially a city like Seattle or New York or L.A. or what the case. But to some little town up in the middle of nowhere, little town like Orville, Washington, or Loomis, Washington, they'd say thank you for that. OMAC or Okanagan, they'd say thank you. Medellin Falls, I know you're out there, and that little almost $10,000 would make you happy. That goes back to that old, um, the whole country doctor thing in the bridges. Your money's staying in your community for a change. How about that?